Good morning, everyone, and happy April. I'm getting ready for today. It's still morning, but I have a hair appointment this afternoon. Oh, I'm kind of just getting a head start on getting ready for today. Where does this go? I just do my usual everyday makeup. And I had the most amazing birthday week weekend my mom came in town we surprised sefton I picked her up from the airport then later on that day she went with me to pick him up from school and he had no idea she was coming in town he was so surprised and so excited so we had such a nice time we hung out went to the museum we went to the the slumu institute here which we have been wanting to go for a while so we did that and that was fun. Went out to dinner several nights. We ate out a lot. Um, I did have a training session with Nick yesterday, which was awesome. It was so good. So yeah, hold on y'all, PJ's waking up. <laughs> So yeah, it was just a really, really nice time. I'm waiting on PJ. He likes to make his rounds around the place before I get him a <laughs> dress. Come sit on the potty. I'll be right back. So yeah, birthday was nice. Easter was great. We did our Easter egg dyeing. We did Easter baskets, which they loved. <laughs> and um, yeah, overall, it was just a really nice weekend. And I'm so happy that my mom was able to celebrate with me, which she celebrates my birthday with me every year. <laughs> yeah, I was just happy that she was here and yeah so we've already planned and basically booked her next trip <laughs> to come back and visit it was just really nice and it's funny because my mom has come here quite a bit since i've moved here and i don't think i think this was the first time she stayed with us the full time usually she'll stay at a hotel or she'll just like spend a night with us and watch the kids while we go out. But I think she always gets a room when she comes, but this was the first time she like actually like stayed with us the whole time and it was so nice. I made her a um, little like Easter basket. So here is the basket that I made for my mom. I just threw something together really quick for her. This is all stuff that I know she's gonna love. Now I know she absolutely loves cashews. So I got her a big thing of cashews to have while she's here with us and I, don't think she's ever tried the Josh uh, white wine, so I got that for her. I just threw some uh, little shower bombs in here. There's a lavender and eucalyptus, little Kleenex, tissue, a uh, little candle. And so I made her a little basket. It was so cute. I'll pop up photos here. I'm sure I'm popping up stuff here for you guys, just showing you different things. But yeah, it was really, a really nice time. So we did that. Now we're, you know, back to our regular schedule routine. Uh, yeah, so all the things. Yes, yeah, so go to my hair appointment. What else? What else, there's like so much that's happened since I last vlogged. But where's my brush? Um. So yeah, that is what I am up to right now. I cannot wait for the Sephora sale because I need some mascara so bad. And I have a new one on my list to try. Uh, the Refi, this brand. Um, oh, it rubbed off, but the eyebrow people. Uh, they have a mascara, a new mascara that I want to try. So I'm like 
scraping what is left out of this trying my best to hold on until the sale so that i can at least save some money you know i need to get another summer fridays um, tinted moisturizer if you guys have some tinted moisturizer recommendations leave it in the comment section because i'm open to trying some new ones if you need a recommendation I would recommend getting this Merit Glow Serum. It's so nice. I put this on right before I put my makeup on. I just like the way it makes my skin look like I don't wear foundation. I haven't been wearing any tinted moisturizer either because I don't have any. It's like barely anything in here. So I basically just do concealer, bronzer, and blush. And I've just really, really been enjoying this. So you can put this on by itself or you can put it on with your like facial moisturizer. Still a huge fan of the Clarins Double Serum is another one that I would recommend. Of course, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I actually use this. I've been using this as a setting spray because I am out of my setting spray if you want a little luxury item that you can get on sale right now get the christian dior hand balm um, they have a new one out too that i'm thinking about trying but that one is really nice hydrating on the hands but you can never go wrong with a nice little hand cream i need to get another nars concealer because that's just my fave and speaking of products i did get a package in from clarence they sent me lip oils which i've tried their lip oils in the past and i wasn't that big of a fan of them because i like the dior lip glow oils you guys know those are my favorite they did send me their newest spring collection um passion pink joyful yellow and daring orange are the different shades so I figured maybe I'll put one of these on today I think I'm gonna do the orange because I'm wearing my orange Dior uh, blush today so but the applicator is a very very similar to the Dior and I'm not gonna lie it's a nice Texture wise, it's similar. It's not as sticky as the Dior. It kind of just like glides on. Yeah, but I think this is a pretty shade. Um, let me get the Dior one so I can compare it for you guys. So here is the Dior lip coat oil. And this is the applicator for that. And then here is the Clarins applicator. So very, very similar. This one actually might be a little bigger, but very similar. It's a passion pink color is very similar to the Dior. Which one is this? Cherry oil. So there are some similarities, but nothing beats this like and it's it is pricey so that's why i would say get this during the sale if you want to try it but many brands are trying to duplicate this and they just they don't have the sauce that dior has i'm sorry but i will still use all of the clarins because i love lip products so this is definitely something that I can just have in my my bag and just throw on my lips and really not have to think about it. But they are pretty sheer, as you can see. It's not too pigmented, which I actually appreciate. So let me just show you guys all the, the different shades here. So. This is the Passion Pink, the Joyful Yellow, and Daring Orange, which is what I have on my lips today. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this today. But um, yeah, if you're looking for some lip oils or if you wanna try lip oils, 
the Clarins and the Dior probably are my top favorites of all the brands that I've tried. I've tried Hoss Labs, did not like it. Did not like it at all. A good job. So yeah, wasn't a fan of the Hoss Labs. So I would definitely recommend either the Clarins or the Dior, just my opinion. Also, just gonna throw it out there. You know, y'all know, that's my favorite. But yeah, I can't wait. I got my list going. I'm gonna be sharing some stuff with you guys as we get closer to the sale dates because I have some goodies to share with you guys. Uh, I'll leave the information below uh, just so you guys can kind of like set your calendars and everything if this vlog goes up before the sale starts. We don't know, I don't know. But anywho, I'll be sharing more recommendations and I'll do a little haul with you guys when I get my items in. But for the most part, I'm just doing like a re-up and just a couple things that I'm getting new that I wanna try out. So yeah, also my mom got me a perfume for my birthday. I feel like that's become like a tradition now. Every year for my birthday, I get a perfume from her. I went in totally with the idea of getting a new Mojave Ghost because you guys remember in my last vlog when I was sharing me organizing my stand here that I wanted to get another Mojave Ghost and the sales associate and my mom both loved the Val de Frick so I went ahead and got it. I'm no stranger to this scent. I actually have the dupe for this by Dossier and I have the little lotion and I had the body wash so I love the scent however I had never owned the actual Val de Frick by Byredo I've always used the dupe so I added a new fragrance to the collection and um, I'm definitely still going to get the Mojave Ghost just because that is a staple of mine now I have this one. So I think this is gonna be my fragrance of the day. Do you wanna smell mommy's new perfume? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, open it. Oh, so here it is. Very just fresh. <laughs> Fresh and clean. If you like a fresh and clean scent, this is it. Really not a whole lot to say about it. Besides, it's just really fresh and I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this at the shelf. Yeah, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my morning things and then I'll probably check back in with you guys once we head to hair salon because all right guys I'm in the kitchen now I'm getting ready to fix me some breakfast 11 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and just eat something right now because like I said I gotta get to my hair appointment I'm just gonna have rice cake with peanut butter or the salted caramel ones this is the brand really good so I'm gonna have that with peanut butter and we made all these Easter eggs so since the boys don't eat hard-boiled eggs I have been eating hard-boiled eggs for breakfast lunch and dinner because we have so many so yeah these are the eggs and I'm just gonna have two hard-boiled eggs um, with my rice cake and make me a coffee. I was gonna make an iced coffee. It's raining today and it's kind of cold. And I just want something warm. So I'm gonna make me a uh, hot coffee, but I did pick up some new capsules and I did try one already <laughs> this morning. So this is actually my second cup of coffee, but my first cup was like at six. So they gave me Barista Creations, Bianco, Polo and Bianco Dopio. These are the ones that you do with milk. So the guy gave me that. And then I picked up the maple pecan um, capsules. So good. Probably 
my new fave so I had to get a new pack of those and then I got the uh, B12 Vivita that I like to have so yeah and I drink these first thing in the morning before I do my workouts because I like to use coffee as my pre-workout I don't do actual pre-workouts and I like the v12 capsules for that it really does give me energy and it makes me feel so just like alive and ready to just conquer my workout so yeah if you like to drink coffee for your like before your workouts I would definitely recommend this one if you have an espresso and I would recommend this one just because it's so good. It's so good. So I'm gonna have another one of these. Oops. Um, so yeah, I need to put these away in the um, the little dispenser that I have in there, but I'll do that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and then I'll come back. All right, guys, I am back home from the hair salon. Fresh blowout, love. And my hair has gotten really long. Um, it's gotten pretty long uh, recently. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. I am now about to do some editing and make me a little snack and probably catch up on the reunion for the Real Housewives of Potomac that aired this week. Yeah, let me go. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, y'all. So it's the end of the night. I just got out the shower. I've already wrapped my hair up, but I wanted to share some body care products with you guys that I would recommend for the Sephora sale that I've been using regularly. The New Josie Marin Whipped Body Butter. This stuff is so good. I shared it with you all in a couple vlogs back and I have been using this stuff every single day and night since I got it. This is what I have left of the um vanilla vibes i left a little packet so you guys could see it there's like a little bit in here i'm thinking about like cutting it open and just using what's left this is so good i'm keeping all the other ones in this anthropology bag because i haven't figured out where i want to put them yet i have not tried any of the other since however i've been using the body scrub as well and i love it now but i follow josie marin uh on her ig and she used this on her face <laughs> i have not used it on my face yet i'm just putting this in here i have not used this on my face uh as a facial scrub but she did and I mean, she is the creator of this product, so I'll, I do trust her. But I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. But I don't know. Maybe I will one of these days just to try it out. But I love the consistency of this scrub. It's really nice and thick. And it actually does what it's supposed to do. And really, really work it into your skin. And when you rinse it off, you get like this really nice oil kind of like softness to your skin i don't know if i'm describing that right but it's just so nice to the point where like you really don't have to put on any like moisturizers or anything when you get out the shower if you really lather yourself up with this like all over your body and just really work it in it leaves a nice glowy moisturizing um like texture on your skin if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making sense but anywho highly recommend these two i love the whole concept of the refill pouches so when you're done with these just refill them with the nuisance and i think the next one i'm going to do is the bohemian fig not tried this one yet um a couple of you asked me if i've tried any of the other scents i have not but i'll go ahead and just open this and smell it now 
Oh, this smells really good. Okay, it has a sweetness to it. So yeah, this is the next one that I'm gonna try with the um, with the scrub. So yeah, if you guys want to get it during the sale. So the way body cleanser is also a product that I have loved for several years now and I personally love the St. Bart's. Now the Melrose Place is nice as well but I love the St. Bart's for the summertime. It just smells so good. Now I did see on the Sephora site that they have a set and I don't think they've ever done that before. I don't think. But you get this and you get the body uh, the, the body cream with this in a set so I do have that on my list so if you are a fan of the way body products I would say get that set or get the the body wash it's so so nice other body washes the necessary eucalyptus this is my holy grail body wash in terms of just an everyday good clean body wash now I was sent the pump large bottle by necessary because i am a necessary ambassador however during the sephora sale i will be getting the refill to refill my bottle and i personally just love the eucalyptus scent it is such a nice invigorating scent when you're in the shower it feels like you're in a spa and i just love it so much if you're looking for just a nice everyday sort of luxurious body cleanser that is clean but it has a lot of benefits to it like this has a vitamin c vitamin e omega-6 omega-9 glycerin lots of good vitamins in it and it makes your skin feels really nice and clean and this is a gel body wash i personally love gel body washes over cream body washes i just feel like they lather better and they make you feel cleaner I don't know it may just be all in my head but that's just how I feel so yeah the necessary body wash is definitely one that I will be repurchasing this is my all-time favorite facial wash I share this with you guys so much here on my channel this has become a lot of people's favorites but I have literally been using this facial cleanser for years way before it became super super viral and popular um, but I love that so anyway, it's the You To The People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Facial Wash. Now, I've been keeping this in my shower because I like to cleanse my face in the shower. If I ever cleanse my face out here at the sink, it's because I am filming it for you guys. But for the most part, at the end of the night, I am cleansing my, cleansing my face in the shower. And also when I shower in the morning, I'm cleansing my face in the shower. I just like to cleanse my face in the shower. So this actually has just been living in my shower. It just makes it a little bit more convenient for me. Plus it has a pump, so that makes it super easy to use as well. Um, but yeah, I love this facial cleanser. It's so nice, it's so gentle. It's just a nice, clean facial cleanser it's not super fragrant it just has like a it has like a earthy scent to it but it's not too overwhelming and overpowering and i've never ever ever experienced any breakouts or any irritation while using that my son uses it too he's nine he likes it so yeah this is just an overall favorite for us and if you want to get your hands on it, I would highly suggest getting it during this Sephora sale. And I just want to mention a fragrance to you guys that I have been loving. It's the Fleur Missing Person. This is such a great, just every day around the house, if you don't want to do too much with your fragrance on the day to day, this is a great everyday perfume. This smells so Good. I love the top it's very very heavy and weighted to the point that like if you lift it just by the top it will not move it's like a strong magnetic very very nice as you can see I have used quite a bit also have the somebody wood which this I use a lot in the like winter 
because it is very like woodsy and warm but this is another really really good one um it doesn't have the best lasting power which sucks and that is probably why i am considering getting the body lotion to layer with this just to see if it will last longer throughout the day i still think it's a really nice fragrance and for that i will be repurchasing it um so yeah this you can definitely find at sephora they also have a little travel size as well i think that's it y'all this cap is from sephora too but it's no longer available on the site it's the grace alia satin lined cap that i wear every night to bed unfortunately it's not on the site anymore i don't know if it's still available in store but i love it anyway i highly recommend if you can find it somewhere get you one um this is to me better than a bonnet all right y'all my camera died but that is pretty much everything that i wanted to share with you all in terms of the sephora sale and things that i recommend i will be sharing with you all the items that i pick up also other products <laughs> that you should be getting the summer friday this is the birthday cake summer fridays lip balm that i have been loving add this to your list too it's just a great everyday lip balm but also you guys should be proud i have been doing a really good job of keeping everything nice and clean here i did put my clean skin towels in there just for convenience because my little case that i usually keep them in it's just too big for this space right now um but yeah i'm so proud of myself for keeping this little area so clean but i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys in the morning doing laundry I'm sure you guys can hear the dryer going I need to tidy up the kitchen a little bit because it's a little messy dishes in the sink I need to figure out my flowers for the week because the tulips are floppy they actually look really cute so I may just clip them and put them in fresh water and do the penny trick and see how they turn out we'll see just a really lazy day it's been raining all day we have literally been in the house doing absolutely nothing well i've been doing stuff around the house but i need to get this under control i'm gonna queue up the new episode of curve your enthusiasm i still need to get uh, like a kitchen hand soap situation out here because right now I just have this out here and I don't like it necessarily. Who was it? CB2 Crate and Barrel has a very nice aesthetic -y hand wash and lotion. So maybe I'll do that. And yeah, so. Let me quit stalling and get to cleaning up and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right. Yeah. 
everyone getting ready to head out and run some errands a couple drive-up orders that I need to go pick up I did end up placing a drive-up order at Crate and Barrel for the items that I was telling you guys about yesterday and then I just have a small target order to pick up but I wanted to come and share with you guys I did something different to my hair last night that I never do and I did the flexi rod trick apparently this has been like super viral and I believe the girl that originated this method she now has her own tools that you can use but I had flexi rods um, I only had two of the larger size ones but we're gonna see how this turns out so let me just show you guys how I did it so for the top one I took a little scrunchie to hold it together a satin scrunchie but the back one held pretty well on its own so yeah I don't know do I start with the front or the back oh I'm so scared I'm gonna start with the back no I'm gonna start with the front all right so here's the top it curl as curly as I thought it would but it actually did bring my curls back I honestly think my little perm rod method works better I've shared that here on my channel two some years ago but I mean this was fun this was cute to try but I don't know maybe I need larger flexi rods because this is all I had I only have these two sizes and this is the one I used in the back and this is the one that I used in the front let me get a comb it doesn't look bad and I feel like this would be a great alternative to you know if you're someone that puts heat in your hair this would help you from not having to like put heat in your hair but I mean, <laughs> would I do it again? Probably not, just because I'm a, I'm a wrap your hair girl. I like to wrap my hair at night. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would try this method again, just because it really didn't do much to my hair. I thought it would at least make the curls like a little tighter, pretty much just left it the same which I'm not mad at I'm, I'm not mad at it I will say that I'm not mad at it at all because I was a little nervous <laughs> uh, this morning when I got up and I was like oh my goodness because I was gonna just do it off camera but I was like no let me let me do it on camera just in case you know but yeah I wish this side had curled a little better because it's just still really straight this side i'm not mad at this side did curl a bit show you guys the back so okay well um i would say it it wasn't a complete fail but it definitely was not a complete success so i will be wrapping my hair tonight <laughs> per usual my hair I'll just go back to my perm rods I take five of these 
and I section my hair into five sections with perm rods and I wear it like that overnight and that definitely brings my curls back I don't do that often I actually haven't done it in quite a while so yeah but I'm just wearing this gray cropped half zip sweatshirt that you guys asked me about it is from Nordstrom I'll leave a link below they have other colors um, it is cropped I know someone thought that it was like a full length but it's it is cropped but I like the cropped style because I just feel like it's a little more flattering for my body type um, and I like the the half a zip so I'll leave this linked if you want to get you one I actually need to get it in black too I keep forgetting to get it in black but they have a few different colors on the site nice little throw on top that kind of makes you look somewhat put together um, while being comfortable it's another rainy day today uh, unfortunately which is why I'm just doing drive up pickup orders because I don't feel like getting out in the rain getting my hair wet and all that so yeah I am going to wear about the frick again today <laughs> put my watch on put on my necklace and we are going to head out so I think I'm gonna do this one today this Clarence lip oil in passion pink And the more I wear this, the more it's growing on me. These Clarins oils, they're really not that bad. And last night I was on Sephora adding to my cart. I was comparing the prices between this one and the Dior. And this one is $30, the Dior is $40. So with that being said, get the Clarins. You gonna get the same, it's the same concept. The formula is slightly, slightly different, but I would say, based on the, the price I would get this one because to be honest the Dior one should be $30 I feel like the the Dior lip oil is way overpriced for what it is even though it's a really good product I would just get this one so this is the pink passion that I'm gonna wear today let me finish getting ready I'm get PJ's coat on because he's going with me yeah we'll see you guys in a little bit all right Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, we got the goods. I'll show you guys. You wanna go that way? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you guys what I got when we get back home. So, how about I forgot about y'all? I came in, put PJ down, started watching Traders, made me a little snack, made me a coffee. I just been lollygagging around and I'm like, oh, I forgot. I need to show my people what I picked up. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from, um, from Crate and Barrel and then I also had some packages downstairs that I picked up. I'll show you that stuff too. But I got a new scrub daddy. I saw that they had this gray and I thought that was cute and I needed a new one anyway. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen it in gray. So I got a new scrub daddy. Got a new hand soap and hand lotion i chose the scent lavender and eucalyptus those just are my favorite scents i love eucalyptus and i love the scent of lavender so i thought i would give these a try now they have so many scents to choose from i mean i honestly had a hard time choosing because they have so many scents like if you like lemon scents or sage they have some really good ones so i'll leave these linked below because they have several to choose from and honestly compared to the more like higher end 
hand soaps and lotions i find these to be reasonable they are still pricey i think they're like around 15 dollars each but i mean i have hand soaps and lotions that are like ranging from 30 to 80 dollars so i feel like this is this is good and i just think for the kitchen this has more of a kitchen vibe in my opinion and so that's what i wanted i wanted something that just looked good in the kitchen aesthetically so yeah i got those and then figured why not get the candle too to match the scents now mind you this is a blind buy i have not smelled any of these so who knows i might hate this scent but um upon the reviews everyone said it smelled really nice so let me just show you guys the packaging for the candle so here is the candle packaging it's in the same lavender and eucalyptus as the um, lotion and and soap and it is it's described as a scented candle bougie perfumey with essential oils i think this has essential oils too yes so this has essential oils as well is and they also have different colored candles too oh that smells good wow i love the smell of eucalyptus it's so nice so it's just a simple white candle but it does have crate and barrel on the bottom there i don't know if you guys can see it but i'll link this for you too so i'll let you guys know how i like the candle how well it burns and all that jazz but yeah i just thought this would be a nice little addition to the kitchen you know just to freshen things up for spring i got that and the scrub daddy I'm going to remove this one and go ahead and put these out I'm actually going to test them out and see how i like them smells good Also, you can buy the refill bottle for each of the scents too, which I really like. Um, so if I decide that I want to keep going with this scent, I'll just buy the refill and I can just fill up the bottles. So I think that's really, really nice. Um, hand soap is nice. The eucalyptus is definitely coming through more than the lavender it's not a greasy hand lotion it is hydrating but it's not anything that you're still gonna feel it on your hands it's like it goes on and it just like dries down so that's nice so yeah overall for a nice hand soap and lotion I think this is a good option if you're looking to do something different with your kitchen soaps um, oh I need to put my Scrub Daddy out. This is so cute. I just get mine from here from now on. Maybe I'll see if Amazon has them, but how cute is that gray? Oh my goodness, I love that. I don't toss out my old Scrub Daddies. I use these to clean the bathroom. So I'll just put this in the bathroom and this will be the one that we use for that. When that one's done, we'll switch out and rotate them. So that's kind of how I do my sponges and scrub daddies and stuff just to get the most use out of them go ahead and burn this candle and let's go ahead and open up some packages that i received this is i believe a pr package the other item is something that i bought So yeah, this is from Lositan. All right, so here it is. Discover our year round commitment to the planet. 
celebrating Earth Month all year round since 1976. And, let's see. Everything kind of got moved. So they sent me the refill bottle of the Savon Liquid Lavender Soap for Hands and Body. That is so funny. Cause I am like on a lavender kick right now. I don't know what's going on, but I am just loving all things lavender. So the fact that they sent this to me is kind of wild. So they also sent me a refill of the milk constant. Oh, okay. So they sent me a jar of the milk concentrates, which I believe this is a body cream. This jar is really pretty. And they sent me the refill pouch. So I guess everyone is jumping on this refill trend because I've been seeing it a lot with different brands. And I like that. I really do appreciate that. So Josie Marin did it. I guess Lots of Ten's like, nope, we can do it too. Um, which I feel like Lots of Ten has been kind of doing the refillable thing um, for years. So yeah, that's what I got from Lots of Ten. So thank you so much, Lots of Ten, for sending me that. All right, and then this I ordered because I actually have been wanting to get a new tote bag, just like an everyday throw around tote bag, not anything too expensive or anything too like over the top, just something that I can just take with me when I'm like running errands, going to the grocery store, doing things that I do locally, walking around and I can just throw things in the bag but also I wanted it to look nice and so I saw this bag and I originally was going to get it in the tan and black and then they also had an all black on black one but I saw this one in this blue and I was like oh okay because denim is all the rage right now and I also thought it would be a nice summer tote bag too just to like take to the pool go to the park with the kids just you know sometimes my totes I feel like can be a little bit too cumbersome and I just wanted something that was a little carefree and low maintenance not too logo-y anything like that so I, so I got the Isabella Marant Yankee tote in this denim and yeah I just think it's the perfect size I think I got the small one um, oh it just says one size but I feel like online it says small but it just says one size but I just thought this would be a nice throw on you know run to the store run errands throw you know sippy cups water bottles um, snacks all that stuff it's not structured so it can just be like flung around everywhere I can toss it in PJ's stroller or throw it in the wagon it actually looks much better in person than it did online I love this print this like tan logo and marat print here it doesn't have anything on the back so if you want to be like even more low-key you can just turn it on the side and wear it like that the shoulder straps are very nice and comfortable they're kind of like a rolled feels like denim um which is nice so it's not like a fake denim look alike it actually feels like a pair of jeans i don't have any pockets or anything on the inside tag here that says isabella marat and then this is just a little other little attachment tag i guess like care yeah um so yeah this is just like care instructions for it super cute the perfect just everyday tote bag for city living if you live in the city and you do a lot of walking you know what i mean sometimes you just need a good old little tote to just toss stuff in but yeah i got that and this is from Saks, by the way but i'll leave it linked below this whole denim trend is like taking on a life of its own, which is so crazy, but I'm here for it because I love denim so much. So yeah, I think that'll be cute with denim on denim too. Also my YSL denim little slides, I think 
this might match. I have a video coming up that I'm gonna do with you guys, do for you guys, um, like a spring summer haul try on. So maybe I'll share some looks with this tote bag in that video. So yeah, but I am going to go because I feel like I have shared everything that I wanted to share with you guys mainly the Sephora sale recommendations and things that I'm planning to get also I implore you to check out my obsessed with it page because I have been working on creating a Sephora sale recommendations page for you guys so you can just go straight there to see what I'm buying what I recommend everything of that nature will be on there so I will leave that link below for you all in case you missed some things in this video it's kind of like a way for you to just be able to click and see everything that I mentioned in this video everything that I recommend also things that I will be purchasing for myself but so yeah also let me know what you guys are planning on getting during the Sephora sale because I always like to see you guys recommendations as well you guys always have good recommendations for me so yeah let me know what you guys are planning on getting for yourself during the sale it does start on the 5th so I am a rouge so I've already got my cart squared away I have been kind of doing a process of elimination because it's getting a little too out of control but I will be making my purchase at midnight <laughs> so that I can ensure that I get everything that I want because y'all know the sale be going crazy. I do have two carts. I have a cart for things that are being shipped to me and then I have a cart of things that I can pick up from my local store. I will be sharing everything that I get with you guys once I receive everything and so yeah that'll probably be in the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. Thank you guys for the texts, the DMs, the gifts. Oh my goodness I got so many surprised gifts, gift cards and just cute sweet little messages so thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.